it's the best of the rest. Time to put them to the test. In case your memory is hazy, it's black exploitation, baby. This is Black's History Month, a 29-day celebration of black exploitation films. Now here's something a little different. You know how sometimes a woman might say, if I give you this, it'll change your life. Well, the movie Melinda is the literal embodiment of that phrase. Made in 1972, Melinda stars Calvin Lockhart as Frankie J. Parker, a radio host or disc jockey as they used to call it back then, who's a ladies man and full of all kinds of charisma. Frankie J. Parker. The J is for joy cause that's what you get from Frankie J. Let me just say this as a side note. Calvin Lockhart is easily one of the best actors from this era and almost completely transforms into whatever character he's given. This is like the third or fourth movie I've talked about with him in it and it's always something new and different. But hey, the movie isn't called Frankie J, it's called Melinda. So who is she? Well Melinda is a woman that Frankie meets one day at a party thrown by his friend Tank. Yes, another Tank, played by Rockney Tarkington. I spoke about Tarkington in 2002 when I talked about that movie Black Samson. A name that makes you think he would be strong, but in reality, he was weak as shit. Melinda is played by Vanetta McGee of Blackula fame, and looking at her, you can see how Frankie might fall for her. In Blackula, Mama Walde woke up after hundreds of years still thinking about her. That's how fine she is. Here in Melinda, she comes across as shadowy, mysterious, and smart. You bring this fine <laughs> woman up here for me to meet, and she gets intellectual on me. Now ain't that a bit a black woman? intellectual on a nigga rich as me. Stop it. And she only answers questions that need to be answered. She also keeps a tight grip on a golden cigarette holder, which becomes a plot device later. The first like 30 minutes is dedicated to Frankie and Melinda's relationship. And one thing I like about the film is that it makes an effort to develop the characters. Melinda starts out being cold and guarded, but begins to slowly open up to Frankie. Frankie himself starts out cocky and arrogant but then softens up after being exposed to Melinda's charms for a few days. Frankie being completely head over heels for Melinda makes it mean more when out of nowhere she's murdered and Frankie is immediately framed for it. This sets off a series of entertaining events where the movie Melinda does its best taken impression. Frankie tears his way through town looking for answers to whoever would have wanted Melinda dead and by the end uncovers way more than he bargained for. I like the fact that early on anybody could be a suspect as far as the mastermind goes, Frankie isn't out here just running head first into danger without skills either, because in something that feels like an afterthought, they decided to make him a master of karate. His instructor is Jim Kelly, and this movie is notable for being Jim's very first movie. It just feels like they wanted him to be a mix of firearms and feet, because the karate sections don't really fit. The only person in Frankie's life who kind of saw right through Melinda is his ex-girlfriend Terry, played by Rosalind Cash. You probably recognize her, but don't remember from where. Years later, she would play the woman in charge of the rehabilitation program for the Crazy Case segments in Tales from the Hood. Frankie doesn't take her seriously because she still has feelings for him, but ironically, she ends up becoming one of the most important people in the film. Melinda has a little more going for it than most exploitation films, and I think it's because of its director, Hugh A. Robertson. Robertson was an editor in Hollywood and became the first African American to be nominated for an Academy Award for editing the movie Midnight Cowboy. He also edited the first Shaft movie. He and screenwriter Lonnie Elder clearly went into Melinda hoping to make it stand out amongst the crowd but I think it was a little too serious for moviegoers who wanted something more like Shaft. Me personally, I loved it. The performances are all excellent and I loved unraveling the mystery behind Melinda. The ending drops the ball a little bit, but don't let that deter you from checking out one of the more unique exploitation films. <laughs>